Hey fellas, welcome back. For the usual brevity's sake, I'll put what I value of skins on screen now. As I remind, I am ranking all the old skins currently. All the skins post 4.6 will be ranked later. Alrighty, let's not waste any more time. Although, this video does include a nice little collaboration, so if you want to stick around for that, please stay tuned. Anyway... Saris. Infernal. One of the uh, larger examples of a skin that's additional appeal is not having a ton of clothing. So that's a bit of a, a drawback, quote unquote, because, you know, like I said before, lack of clothing equals lack of detail but it also kind of fits the theme, plus Ceres' lack of clothing in general. The armor, although it's a bit lacking, is very nice. Her cloak is appropriate and looks quite nice, as well as her leggings, and her horns are extremely cool, extremely impressive. Very Ceres-like, it goes with the theme, and looks creative. That is the focal point for sure, and it stands the hell out. When I try to remember this skin, that's basically all I can remember, and my brain immediately goes to like, put an S tier. Like, that is how standout and lovely I think it is. Plus, the mask thing is cool, and the, uh, I don't know, the gem. It only adds to it, it's super cool. Overall, not a ton of details, and it's pretty okay quality. Nothing offensive, and what's there is very slick, and obviously satisfying to look at, for both fan service reasons and otherwise. I'm also always a fan of messing with skin color for skins, gotta love the red, very fitting, very nice. The weapon is alright, I've honestly always found her default to be a bit more detailed and satisfying though. Not that there's anything wrong with this skin, in fact it kinda gives me Lord of the Rings vibes. For what it is, the weapon's pretty cool, and the fact that it's an eye while her eyes are covered, yeah, that's a cool idea. But yeah, this skin screams S tier. Divine. Wasn't this the first? This was the first community scan, I think, right? Yeah. Are you sure about that? Yeah, I really like that this one was transcribed from like fan art and stuff. I remember actually seeing the fan art before it became a skin. I was like, damn, that's a really cool idea. So it was really exciting, especially back in the day to see that actualized. Anyway, the skin feels really efficient, you know. A lot of it is actually brought over from the default, although you wouldn't be able to notice unless you, well, were looking for it. And even then, it fits in so well. As a result, it's very Saracy, and the details and additions look great. The theme is nice. Angelic is harder to pull off, I feel, than demonic without being stereotypical and just kind of eh. The white hood crown looks very lovely. The feather things fit in quite well as well. The whole cloak looks good and it fits very seamlessly. Weapon is also pretty nicely detailed and there's like a halo or something in there. And there's a gem. It looks kind of cool. Never been too much of a fan of this weapon. I'm not sure why. I think it just seems a little too much maybe. A little too extravagant perhaps. But yeah. The whole design doesn't stand out a ton but it's very pleasant and I like how much of Ceres I see in it. Nothing about it really stands out that much. Like Infernal had one giant thing that really stood out as well as a bunch of supporting stuff. This one has a lot of supporting stuff but really nothing to make it really stand out go that extra mile to make it S tier I feel, so I'll stick it in A tier. Madame. It's the Chinese New Year skin. The first full skin, you know. There's always a bunch of bits and pieces with the theme of like the Chinese New Year, you know, there'd be a bunch of weapons and stuff for a bunch of different characters like Drogos and Pip, and this is the only full Chinese New Year skin. I, I like the whole Chinese dress aesthetic, so that's points for me. The design on her dress is a good. Her hair plus rose plus blind thing is really nice. It makes me miss being able to use the hairpiece for different skins and stuff. The whole skin looks quite nice on the surface, but in the end there isn't too much creativity shoved into it. Not to mention the quality is somewhat mediocre. I feel like the headpiece is the clear highlight, and the other other details are very nice, but there really isn't too many. The weapon is a cool idea, but it comes out looking a little lackluster. Could have been more interesting. I don't know how. I like the detail, but it's just it's just kind of like, yeah, yeah, that's the lamp, alright. It's kind of like the whole skin in general. You're like, yep, that's the Chinese New Year thing. I guess it's cool. Just fine. Just doesn't get any like standout awards in my books. Beats here. Jade Priestess. To be perfectly honest, it's not as high quality as I remember it being. Eh, it's still pretty decent though. The concept is always something that's really interested me. It's like a Egyptian kind of, but you really wouldn't be able to tell, I guess. It's always been very intriguing though. It's got like the Egyptian dog deal with the ears and the snakes and the mummy bandages. It all works really well with Saris. There's lots of great detail. The quality is pretty good and the theme is subtle and well executed, creatively and otherwise. Again, I got no problem with showing a little skin, but if you're banking on just sexual appeal, for instance, it's definitely not creative. The skin has that a little bit with a little underboob action going on there, you know. But that's mostly just appealing to me because I'm a guy. That is not creative. <laughs> but it's really not the biggest thing since there's plenty of details aside from it. So I shouldn't complain that much. I guess I could just appreciate it. <laughs> the weapon's pretty run-of-the-mill for Saris. It looks pretty cool, but the same format aside from the spooky snake. Pretty cool. Putting all that aside, the things that stand out the most to me are the hair, everything else on her head, and the cloaks. Very cool, pretty much everything. S tier. Cottontail. First question, what exactly are they going for? Like, why? The skin is bonkers and not in a good way. The particles on her feet are pretty nice. That's it though. This is probably the furthest away a skin slash skin concept has gone from the original character concept. Like, I do not see Saris. I see stripper bunny. We can see your eyes. What the f***? Change it. Every essence of Saris was stripped from her. No pun intended. And it wasn't even Easter. The details are not even worth going over, if there's any. And the quality is just, eh. And like, this is, this is clearly a fan service skin, so like, you know, give her a blindfold like she would normally have. Blindfolds are kinky. You, can, you could fit that in somehow. And you know, give her some kind of 
the dress thing that she has with like every other skin, yeesh. The ears and tail could be interesting if they add character on a good skin, but this is a bad skin, they don't add anything. Her hair is also just a miss for me. Like it could look okay on a good skin, but again, it adds nothing. The weapon is jarring at best. A floating bunny that shoots bubbles. Drugs. Drugs. I guess to top that off, she's wearing normal human clothes. You know how I feel about that kid. This is just sad. No creativity, almost feels like no effort. This is sad. I'm sad. You're sad. Hey there, post recording microbe here. I feel like I didn't perfectly describe why I dislike this skin. A lot of Ceres' character in the past was carried over to previous skins in pretty subtle and interesting ways up to this point. Kind of give off the impression that certain aspects of her character design are kind of sacred. Mostly the eyes, of course, but also other obvious aspects in clothing. To have a skin that suddenly disregards all of that completely, especially with this skin of all skins being the first to show Ceres' eyes, felt super wrong. That quote unquote sacredness was removed in the most dull and uninteresting way possible. It's not just a relatively boring and uncreative skin, it's also rather insulting to Ceres and fans of her character design as a whole. At least that's how I feel about it. I know it's a little silly to get worked up over a skin, but I mean, come on, I'm ranking them. This is what I do here. D tier. The only reason I don't put her straight in F tier is because at least it's not straight up offensive in every scenario. It's offensive in theme and the fact that they put so little effort into it for sure. But every skin in F tier, I've gotten a very visceral, gross reaction from. This skin doesn't give me those kinds of feelings. It just makes me generally upset. <laughs> Remix. At first glance, I kind of wasn't a fan. It just seems like another Remix skin filtered through the Saris lens, but I think it's kind of grown on us. It's a good skin. A lot of good details, but nothing crazy. Creative with the design, quality is very nice as well. To some extent, I feel like it's pretty cookie cutter, I'm not gonna lie. But at the same time, I do like seeing how, you know, this little detail was carried over from Saris into the Remix design, and then seeing that for every other detail. It's actually quite fun to look at and kind of catch with each skin in general, and this one has that happen a lot. So it's a lot of fun to look at. Lots of glowy effects that are kind of a staple for the Remix skins, all very nice. Uh, the placements on them on this skin especially are exceptional. I like on the rim of the weapon, it kind of looks like little cat ears. I don't know why, that's kind of cute. Aside from that, everything's pretty par for the course for a Sarah skin. I like the helmet, the clothes, the weapon, and the design on her stomach. Cool details. Very nice and sleek and satisfying. Nothing offensive. Booba. Eight tier. Stellar Mender. Kind of gives off Rosalina vibes. In other words, off to a good start. Not as flashy as like Io's stellar skin, but possibly more so satisfying and nicer on the eyes. The theme hits really nice with Ceres as well, similarly to how it did with Io. Kind of as Ceres is like this ghostly wandering presence. I don't know, to me that just fits nicely with the stellar aesthetic. The big old galaxy stuff under her dress and in her weapon are a big highlight for me. I don't know how to read this to make it funny, but that fishnet over the booba about to make me act up. Yeah, I sure did write that. Asymmetrical leggings are baller. Your hair is really cute, but still Ceres which isn't technically something that should go together, <laughs> but you know, it does. The like armor, metal pieces, especially the ones on our chest that look like wings are really cool. The weapon is actually a sleeper. The galaxy and the other galaxies orbiting the effects. Oof, good oof. It's very in character and just looks lovely. Crown's cute too. The only thing that really holds it back in my opinion is kind of the same thing that holds back a lot of the stellar skins. Although it looks very satisfying, the quality of the effects are all very good. The details are quite lacking. Like although the whole skin comes together to feel special, there's nothing in particular that I can pick apart that's special about the skin, aside from the effects of course. And the effects themselves, you know, they're pretty par for the course for every single stellar skin, so it's not necessarily unique for that alone. Anyway, A tier. Shaolin Vigilante. This is the first of three recolors. It's certainly going for the corny superhero look, pretty much nails it, so I can't fault it for that. What I can fault it for is for being lame. No extra special creative details, it's just, you know, corny superhero and that's about it. The skin looks relatively detailed and, and its quality is quite high for the time. I like that the bow is somewhat realistic, you know, it's a compound bow and such. It looks cool too. Like I'm kind of a stickler for a lot of bows being at least somewhat realistic, but if I look at it and know it's not going to work properly in real life, it kind of bothers me just a little bit. So I appreciate the effort in the realism there. Everything however does look, including the bow, a little bit plasticky, which I'm pretty sure is intentional. It still does kind of make it look bad though, I'm not gonna lie. Honestly, it almost seems like he's intended to look like an action figure. I kind of like the direction they were going for. I don't think it turned out to be very interesting at all. No interesting details or anything like that. But apparently the developers disagree with me. They think it's very interesting considering they made three ah. f***ing recolors out of it. Anyway, see you too. Guardian. Difference is, his belt has baggies and he has no helmet, which I prefer. Other than that, the skin shoulders down has cooler colors. The bow is almost the exact same. Wait, never mind, it is the same. But yeah, this one's a bit better. Crime Fighter. This one's whack. They, they tried to sell it as like a new, they, they, they gave it new art and all that stuff. This is the newest, obviously, so like, oh, look, you guys, this is a new skin. Never mind, it's a recolor. Again, it's got a scarf instead of a belt and has no mask as opposed to Vigilante, but a bandana as opposed to Guardian. Astounding. Uh, there's only two colors now, which does make it actually look better, but the headpiece looks dumb still, but the changing colors does make the bow look a lot cooler as well. Has that going for it, at least. Outlaw. I've always been a bit 
bit confused at this skin, like what it's exactly supposed to be. Like Hanzo, a pirate bounty hunter guy. It kind of just looks like an old Shaolin maybe, which is as good a theme as any, I suppose. The details are all good. We got plenty of them, but nothing really truly stands out to put the skin above others. The quality is a pretty okay for his time. Could be better, but oh well. His bow and arrows are the highlight for sure. They're good quality, unrealistic, but really cool. Blades on the ends and the arrows look sick. Overall a cool skin, but I feel like it lacks a, a solid inspiration, making it seem a little aimless. Maybe there is an inspiration out there that I'm not understanding, but yeah. Nothing stands out by itself, but it all does work together to make a pretty cool skin. A tier. Omega. The theme is very clear this time, to where it completely loses his Shaolin-ness, aside from just, oh, he's got a bow, so, you know, Shaolin. Which is kind of, you know, as per usual with these Omega skins. It does have a few details carried over from Sha, though, so it isn't completely losing, though attempting to simulate the poofy pants with metal doesn't go so well, to be perfectly honest. The effects and robotic details are really cool, though, comes together to make a pretty slick skin. I would say the head stands out among pretty generic robotness heads that we've seen in the past. The cape thingy is a lovely touch as well. The bow is very cool. It had a lot of wiggle room when it comes to designing a robotic bone, it turned out very cool. As per usual with these Omega skins, nothing in particular stands out, but I mean, it looks really good and the quality's pretty high. It's stimulating to the eyes and very slick looking, it just doesn't stand out. These Omega skins are all extremely safe. The highest I can say is A tier, really. <clears throat> so, uh... Daddy Mouse is here now. Um, so, are you going to be looking at the skins just straight up, like in the game, as we talk about it? I'm curious. Yes, I actually have the game opened, and I have that beautiful, amazing demonet sky just looking at me, staring into my soul. Uh -huh. Oh my God, she's gonna be sending me straight to Forney Jail, and I don't even mind. Which this guy skin do you want to start with? Uh, we always start chronologically, so we're starting with uh, operative here. Oh my God, more like awkward. Dude. I'm sorry. Her hair looks ugly. She like back in the day, she was the most unique, I would say, sky skin. But the color, like, she looks like a grape it's just weird like nowadays it's not a skin you probably want to use especially because of the price and it comes with a weapon i like some of the details like the metallic pauldrons and everything but it's just weird do you want to say where you'd put the skin in your theoretical tier list nah, i'm gonna put her in an, like a d tier maybe f for me, it's always been kind of hard to rank these skins because, like, the ideas were so different back then. It's really hard when it comes to older skins because they, at some like at some point, they switched to the new system where they removed the mix and match system. I don't know if you mm -hmm. were there when that happened. I was, yeah. But before that, they had a lot of constrictions on what they could do, so they had to work with like on a very confined, I guess, space, and that was very commendable. Some of, like some of the skins, for example, like Adli Makoa one, the things they did to a skin, even though they couldn't change other things, is just crazy. It basically, just reminds you of like a sky. 1.5 really not a sky 2.0 mind you and the skin didn't come with a dedicated weapon so well it's kind of hard to tell what was carried over from the og especially since they're both super skin tight anyway but it does seem as though there are a lot of small details were added and changed from the og so that's good at least and the armored look does work with sky's skyness little things like the scarf are different the kunai the belt and of course the hair i, I like the idea that they tried to change something like the hair but it does end up looking a little bit wet i like it in some circumstances but now you can't like mix and match it at all so it's kind of like yeah it's not as good that you know that skin is called Bad Morning Sky. Bad what, sir? Her hair looks like someone trying to replicate a high poly hair on a low poly model. I like how this in the layer skins they switch to a more like anime-ish, cartoonish style for the hair and everything because they they embrace the limitations. Me too. Chrome. A uh, chrome sky. A reminder that Paladins will look freaking amazing on a bare engine. I ported that skin to Blender and it looks incredible. It looks shiny. It, the reflections are just amazing. It looks modern. But for some reason in game, she just looks like plastic. I don't like it. Also, like the lights in, an, in a better game engine, they will look amazing. There will be reflections. It will look perfect in the dark. But here, the lights look cheap, you know, plastic. I love the masks though. Back in the day when you could mix and match skins, I would use that mask on most of the skins because it's just so edgy and I love it. I think it's really good for this time, but yeah, it's super inconsistent when it comes to quality, I feel. I think the mask especially and the weapon, they look just fine with like the gleaminess of it and all that stuff. The body is a little more inconsistent. Oh, about, one thing about the weapon is that it was the first sky weapon that wasn't shooting darts. I actually use it even with like her bare skins, more recent skins because it just looks amazing. She's kind of known for being kind of robust in her color, very out there. And I do feel like this one does lack a bit of color, but I do really like the, the blade colors at the very least does make them stand out but i still feel like i don't know there should be a little bit of extra color in there this one thing that will make it look a lot better if her hair would be red because that yeah. purple just looks so out of place like oh, bra i miss those old recolors with all the different hair colors and stuff like that i miss those yeah that's a tier for me a tier 
Mm, interesting. Yeah. I think it stands out a little bit. I often try to look at things a little bit, or take a tiny bit into consideration the time that they were made, and I think for the time it was made, it was, it's pretty good. It, it, was, it was an experiment. It was ambitious, right? They tried something. Mm -hmm. You know, if I give the previous one a D, I'm going to give this one a C. Heartbreaker. We're already at Heartbreaker. Oh, that's great. Oh my god. Do you like Heartbreaker? Can you do the Heartbreaker with some pressure? <laughs> Not without alerting my parents, no. <laughs> no, oh my god. Uh, I just played the noise and it's just her screaming. <laughs> I was like, what does she would sound like? It's just... <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I love it. Uh, sky. I cannot do high-pitched voice. You know what? Heartbreaker was the first Sky skin that made me go like, what the F? And also... Hmm. Hmm. This skin was the very first skin that I actually tried to get like a, as a chance out of, out of boxes back in the day. You had to pay 200 crystals just to get like the headpiece or 200 crystals just to get the weapon. It was crazy. Oh, there was like a spray that would also cost 200 crystals. It has a history for me at the very least, so I like this skin due to that. Nice. First of all, that skin has a mount that matches it. The only way you can actually see your skin is usually when you ride your mount, right? So having a mount that matches is just perfect. She also came with an emote, which is the hard emote which, by the way, is one of her best emos because the particles, they change with every skin. I love the colors on this one. You see, this one is very consistent when it comes to color, a lot more consistent. The purple doesn't look out of place because it's complementary to red and the golden. It could be obviously more, I guess, luxurious now. It would be a lot more detailed. If it was made now, it would look more like the Harbor Tyra skin. But for the age, I think it's a, um, I guess it's a B tier for me. Her voice is annoying. No, sorry, C tier because the voice is just horrible. Valentine's Day is a nice, albeit vague concept, kind of. There's kind of an idea of how Valentine's skins are with most games these days, so it becomes less vague, but yeah. What the fuck? With skins in general, it might be a bit overdone, but this is the first in Paladin, so it does get a little bit of uh, sacredity. It feels a little bit cookie cutter in that regard, like it's just kind of Valentine's Day and that seems to be about it. Yeah, every day for Sky is Valentine's Day, honestly. <laughs> Execution is very pleasant, I think. Nothing crazy or super detailed or high quality, but it's like, it's pretty sleek and the gradients are nice. The pink hair is very cute. I like the little heart on it, the scarf, the belt, all pretty good. Only thing that bothers me is Aesthetically is the bulky shoulders and maybe those rather dull shoes. I don't know. I think the weapon fits. It's like the rest of the skin. It looks nice, but I don't think it's anything out of the ordinary or particularly interesting. I agree with you. I think it's B tier. Just right in the middle. It's not offensive at all. It's just quite lovely to look at. Hey, we're good for once. Konoichi. Kunochi. You know what I like about Kunochi? What's that? She, like any Sky skin, she looks like, extremely hot. Like, <laughs> And she also like exposes a lot of skin and everything, so it's not like a very conservative skin. But at the same time, it doesn't feel like she's exposing herself on purpose, right? That kind of gives her that kind of, you know, she's more of a professional who just looks hot. Uh, she doesn't have that many skins that have the same vibe. It looks down to business, I think is what you're trying to say. Yeah. I like that. Uh, keep in mind, the skin is still technically based on her original default, so many details carry over from the default rather than her modern default. Default. Her scarf, boots, belt, armor, and weapons transcribe flawlessly, and her weapon flings cute little shurikens, so cool. And her knives are all replaced by a single dagger slash sword. The hair is also nice and kind on the eyes. I used to not be a fan for some reason, but it's grown on me a lot. Masks are always appreciated, they're always cool. I think maybe the legs are a bit empty, but I mean it's pretty down to business, so I can't really complain too much. But yes, her clothing looks very cool and on par with the theme while still being creatively sky. And the quality, although it isn't as good as it could be, it's as good as it needs to be, that's how I feel. I feel like this skin, if anything, the design is kind of genius and kind of dumb and I love it is that as an assassin she's supposed to wear all black in order to bend in with the shadows and everything yeah but she's sky she doesn't do that yeah a lot of the elements are black like the mask and everything she's kind of trying to hide but at the same time she cannot like get over her skyness she has to stand out right even among assassins not to mention the theme like she's literally an assassin herself the whole ninja assassin aesthetic really couldn't be better for her I wrote that they fit together like butter on butter what? okay so I'm gonna rate this a um a I like it. I would even say S if it was a little more detailed, but the voice, A plus for the voice. We put it in S. Yeah, I, 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 can, I, can, I can get behind that. Yeah. Academic. Yes. Academic Sky. Okay, when I was doing the collab with Victoria, she rose a very good point. Like the voice pack makes her look like that nerdy, very good student who only cares about her grades and studying and everything. Did everybody do their homework? But her outfit, you can see speakers on her wrist thingy, on her weapon and like headphones. She looks like one of those party, like party all day students, but her voice pack is completely different. That doesn't make sense. That doesn't fit. Just like her legs, by the way, they don't really fit either because she's supposed to have white leggings in the splash art. It's a little wacky. Would you say you like this skin in general? 
um, <laughs> skin wise it's amazing i love the skin i love the design the way it doesn't fit sky it doesn't fit the voice pack it's just a mess it's a beautiful mess but it's a mess i want to put it like an s tier interesting for me this the skin really bothers me often because i like skins that really preserve the integrity of the original character and or i'm gonna bring this into a fight and actually use it mm -hmm. the skin does not reflect any of that what do you think about the hair specifically the hair is a reference to our original hairstyle but it's a different model and i love it another issue i find we're talking about the execution okay the way her bag like on on her back how do you call those things on her shoulders buckles sleeves what are sleeves yeah let's just call them sleeves <laughs> They are painted on the skin, they are not 3D models and that bothers me because it looks stretched in a weird way. Another thing that bothers me, but again it's the execution, not the design, the fabric on her top. It looks so thick, it looks like plastiline. The whole quality of the skin is relatively low. I still want to place on S tier, that's one of the skins that actually are memorable for Sky. You really like it that much, damn. Yes. I put it in C. Heresy. I can't get over normal people clothes. It's just like, I think it's a really big difference in what we value of skins. Yeah. Is this why you are not wearing any clothes? Shut up. Alright, after hearing that bit of praise for it, you're gonna hear me rag on it for a little bit, so uh, hold tight. Because this is certainly one skin I think we completely disagreed on, in terms of what we value in skins, which, mind you, is very different. That became very apparent very quickly. Quality, pretty good. Hair, pretty cute. Everything else, basic bitch. She's wearing normal people clothes. No. From my perspective, the theme and execution is a bit boring. Like, she's literally just going to school. The exception to that is the weapon. It has speakers on it. I think it's a cool addition. It doesn't add too much, but I think they did as good as they could. I'm not too much of a fan of the headphones. It makes the cute hair look less cute and more like she's trying to be cool. C tier. Street style. Okay, I'm gonna start with the negatives and then go to the positive. Actually, I'm gonna contradict myself and start with the positive, which is her completely different hairstyle, which is long hair. I like it when champions have something like a very iconic part of them, which is changed, but in a way that actually works. That was the first skin to have long hair and that would look freaking cool. Execution is not always perfect because during certain emotes and everything, that hair kind of pokes her through the stomach. I'm sorry, Skata, probably hurts, but you know, well, I first of all, I like this street style theme. I think this street style theme is just amazing. I guess it all calms down to feeling the champions and I know you don't like what I'm about to say mm -hmm. I love the idea of having the champions feel them alive right like what would happen if they were just casually walking down the street you know it just feel them like real people like something casual and that's what I love about this entire theme especially with the sky skin if we just grab the raw colors for this skin they don't really work that well together not not all of them anyway but if we talk take into account the message the skin delivers right that kind of street style urban like modern style which has a lot of like flashy colors but at the same time it has to look casual then it makes perfect sense i guess artistically this skin is freaking insane it looks casual but it has so many details so many like design elements it has a fucking flashy how can you get any better than this also her weapon holy shit that thing slaps i do think the amount of detail and quality of the weapon is super standing out compared to the rest of the skin rather anyway ss s plus whatever the high tier is i can see that just a little bit like i disagree with it extremely hard because i just don't really like the street style skins in general i think they take away from maybe just the character or the game itself oh i can see why people dislike it yeah it's like if you want to get immersed it just kind of breaks it yeah i can see that okay back to talking shit about a skin immediately after it's being praised sora feed am i right maybe she uh, graduated or failed high school with the academic skin and this is her now <laughs> feel old yet? I like the stars and the dog's cute. As usual for the clothing itself, I think they pimped it out as much as they could. I think I just don't like clothing too much so it all just looks a little boring to me. To me it kind of feels like they just tried to cram as much detail as they could into the little amount of clothing there is here. And for me at least, the detail is just so irrelevant, both to Paladins and to Sky. And as a result, I look at this skin I just feel like there's nothing to write home about. It's almost hilarious how big of a difference in opinion we have on this skin, honestly. It's like he looks at this and sees everything. I look at this and see literally nothing. Aside from the hair, the hair's alright. The one thing I don't really understand with the weapon though is why do those- what are those wing things? It confuses me. <laughs> anyway, like I said, C tier. Temptress. Alright, so first of all, and I know a lot of people kind of dislike that the way she has the same coloring as Maeve, that demon and Maeve, but dude, that actually makes perfect sense. They belong to the same species. I think it's consistent. It complements them more, so I feel. Okay, well, let's just address the not elephant in the room, more like melons, who just, that just covered the entire room. Yes, she's extremely, extremely revealing. The, that's my actually only big issue with the skin is that if this game is kind of made for kids, this is kind of weird for them to go for something this kind of fucking revealing. But the same 
same time, it's like an entire topic, which I don't want to do, dwell into. But yes, this skin is very uh, purposefully made to be hot. The lack of clothing and therefore lack of extra details is actually complementing the skin as a whole, which is interesting because that's kind of how it's supposed to be. It's like supposed to be succubus skin and all that. It's kind of Sky's thing, plus the theme is kind of succubus esque anyway. But I do think when you're looking at things objectively, it is lack of detail, even though there's, there's cool like little tattoo thingies there. So that's kind of interesting at the very least. Oh, yeah, this one, this skin actually has more detail than any of the old skins. It has more polygons, it has more detail, better textures. Like for all those with the willpower to stop looking at her boobs and look somewhere else, you can actually notice that she's got some amazing horns. Her hairstyle looks very intricate for such a low, like, you know. I love her hair, dude. It's great. Yes, <laughs> like the limitations of the engine does allow for good hair, but this one looks freaking insane. I have two gripes with this skin. First, her wings, they kind of poke out of her back, like, you know, just like, boom wings happen. That's not how wings work, man. Every time I look at, at, at the mirror at my wings, that's not how they work. She never has a tail in any of her skins, right? Yes, they had to email her tail for every one of her 69 emotes, which I can only commend. And another issue I have with the skin kind of is that if we compare it to a devilish skin, you can see the devilish has those crystals and they just stand out. They give her those crystals are placed on strategic places that when it's dark, you can still see her silhouette because of the crystals, the way they shine, right? I really love the design and I'm really sad that, that in the Temptress skin, she doesn't have any contrasting colors, so that's my only two issues with this skin. However, Devilish has another issue. Her wings, you can see the red of her wings, it doesn't match any other of her colors. And another issue she's got is that her eyes are yellow, but her crystals are green. When that skin was revealed first, like Succubus Sky, she looks so evil, they splash her and we're like, hell yeah, we're gonna have an evil Sky who's gonna be like enjoying killing stuff. I kinda just wish she was more evil and less flirty. Yeah. It's just a little bit forced. Yes. She's kind of horny and that's about it. Uh, the only straight complaint I can think of is the usage of skulls on her thighs and knees. A slight redundancy, but like that's the only complaint I can think of. It's really not bad. The tail and wings are just extra animations and stuff. They all look lovely. And yeah, I love the horns as well. Everything blends in beautifully. Those little tattoo things are one way to make showing more skin not just boring. It allows for some fan service and some creative stuff too. I love the hair because like it's about as sky as you can get while changing it pretty much completely. Like how do you manage that? I don't know. They did it though. Yeah, the armor designs, although it's not, you know, everywhere. It's about as detailed and high quality as you can get. Very slick, very good everything, and very Sky. Knowing kind of Sky's attitude, I feel like the succubi thing just kind of works. And there's a lot of things, you know, even though it's pretty fan servicey as we talked about, like what else would you expect from Sky? And I think everything in the skin, even though it's fan servicey, accentuates the theme itself, which in my opinion makes it very reasonable. All comes together to make essentially Sky's ultimate form. SS. Devilish. Devilish's color scheme just makes everything that didn't initially stand out suddenly stand out. There isn't a gradient on the hair, but I mean, I like black hair, so... But yeah, Devilish is way better. So do you want to stick around and cover Strix as well? No. I want to have my chicken break. Okay. I'm hungry, so I'm sorry. I will pause the recording now, and I will um, come back to you once I'm done eating. Okay. Two hours later. Hmm. Well, Strix, Infiltrator. Maybe it's just because of how old it was, but this is definitely a skin that, that was a lot better in my head. I like the cape texture. It's a lot less detailed than I thought. His cape and his mask are the only two cool details. Hell, really the only details in general. Other than that, very little textures, generic armor slash pouches, and that's basically this skin. His face behind the mask also looks a little odd, but that could be just me. It doesn't look good. Maybe it's trying to get some Darth Sidious looking ass thing over here, I don't know. In any case, his weapon is pretty dope. Almost lightsaber-ish, a little less detailed than Leon, but still cool. The biggest downside for me is just that there's very little creativity with this skin, even with the things that look cool. Like, just look at what he's wearing. It looks so generic. The colors are really bland, even though, you know, you kind of expect that he's trying to blend in and shit. I still can't deny that it looks really unappealing. Not to mention it's generally low quality because it's old. Alongside the lack of detail makes this a pretty clear-cut C tier for me. Definitely one of those skins that I remembered is really good until I actually gave it a good solid look. Mercenary. Wait, was the other skin Star Wars related too? I mean, this one definitely was, but was the other one as well? I thought it was. But yeah, this one has pretty nice quality and much, much more passive detail. It's very on the nose with this theme, but the inspiration itself is pretty cool, so it certainly doesn't look bad. It's just very on the nose. I remember seeing this when it first came out and I thought, damn, that's bold. <laughs> but yeah, the colors are nice. Everything about the skin is very lovely. Nothing bothers me at all. And the gun is nicely detailed this time. A little generic, yes, but it looks great. The helmet and armor, I dare say, are not particularly creative because they kind of just ripped them from Star Wars, so it's like, eh, but they do look pretty good with the detail quality. 
all, you know, that looks great. Those bags on his legs look a little funky. His crotch armor also has chinks in it, meaning some animal or maybe dude really try to do my man's dirty in the scrap. As on the nose as it is, it works pretty well with Strix, and I think it looks pretty all right. And I like the gun, especially as generic as it might be. Speaking of B, it, it goes in B tier. Remix. I don't see Strix. Where'd he go? Who is this mystery man? It's his cousin, uh, Strunx. Very snazzy, slick as fuck, super dapper. It's a mix of two themes that I'm always very happy about. Techie remix stuff and this dapperness. But I really do wish they mixed in some, you know, Strix in there. He kind of got lost in translation and I don't see him at all in this skin. The suit itself doesn't have much detail, but what it's got is pretty alright. The helmet and gun are quite detailed and superb. I feel like this is the first speaker implementation that works really well and doesn't seem kind of forced. I don't know, it just looks great and it feels great to use. Golden tie. I have a kill streak you have to have on a tie to get that. <laughs> I guess his helmet does kind of actually have a bit of avian properties so like there's a little bit of strix in there just not a whole lot it gets like two points back <laughs> but yeah a tier redux i see what they were going for but the silver just doesn't pop like the gold did it makes it more dull it's still pretty cool but the og's better hustler what's with strix and dapper skins speaking of which though again where's strix like this more looks like his his uncle this time or something uncle swindy who let Uncle Swindy in the game? Uh, kind of similar to the last skin. The only Strix thing I can see is the owl on his back and like some feathers and stuff. But it's not like Strix's bird similarities are the only thing Strix has. I don't, I don't think anyway. But yeah, everything else looks fine. But I will be real, it's kind of uninteresting, maybe a little uninspired. The details are nice, the quality is good, and technically it's quite a good skin. When I look at this skin, I just don't find too much interesting about it. I'm not really sure what it's trying to, what kind of feelings it's trying to evoke. My man's looking like he's going on a, on a posh fox hunt with his rich buddies, I don't know. Suffice it to say, I'm just not really getting any interesting vibes with this skin. The gun is real nice too. It's not interesting at all, but it does look really good. I don't know, it's just kind of vague. I just don't really feel anything about it. Pretty forgettable in my opinion. Nice hair though. B tier. Swindler. Eh, it's kind of inconsequential. I don't really feel anything again. The colors are nicer, I guess, and the pants aren't striped, which is better, I guess. Scale Bane. Okay, this skin's kind of a lot to take in, but it's also his first skin that really feels like Strix. It's quite chunky, but again, that's because there's a lot going on. The dragon skin and boots tell a nice story, so props for that. The scope is backwards. Right. The gun doesn't look cool in like a traditional sense, but it's well detailed with the axe handle and like the jawbone and stuff. It's all, you know, wear and tear and shit, like the entire skin, so it's really a theme. The uh, pants somehow transcend normal boringness to an extreme genericism. Like somehow it contributes to this really noisy feel when I look at the skin, but also is super dull and uninteresting. Tattoos though. Cool. A lot of good, a little bit of bad, and just very messy, but it's an oddly well-rounded skin for being just such a mess to the eye. Again, B tier. Dragon's Bane. Whoa, it's with this, uh, this vibrancy. It's, uh, it's weird. How's he gonna sneak? <laughs> His tattoos glow, though. Wow. Well, it makes him more wacky, but also out of theme, so it's like, eh, at least it stands out. It's so wacky, though. It's not as good as the original. Alrighty, that'll do for today. That certainly took a bit, huh? Yeah, sorry about the wait there. The beginning of the year was pretty hectic for me. Some out of town's appointments and stuff, work and just general stress kind of limited the amount of work I put into the editing. John. I was actually beginning to worry since, you know, small YouTubers tend to lose motivation pretty quickly sometimes. That maybe people would just think I've stopped and I've got bored of the series, but no. Nah. I don't know how the future is going to go with YouTube and stuff, obviously, but at the very least, I will finish this series. Like, whether it's done tomorrow or in 2023, it will be done. Oh yeah, setting up the whole collaboration thing also took a bit longer than usual too, but like, can I talk about now how easy he made it for me? Like, I originally wouldn't have even wanted to like do a collab or anything like that, but Daddy Mouse has been an inspiration for me both starting my Paladins content on this channel, uh, this very series, uh, as well as just getting me back into playing the game as a whole. Like, his content has always been super inspirational for me. So like, when he offered to collaborate with me for one of these parts, like, I was so anxious, but also he basically helped start the series, so it's like, yeah, damn. I was not gonna pass that up it's like a dream so like yeah he hit me up we got a time to call and i was like so nervous but he was just so chill and comfortable to be around all i really regret is just like not being able to keep up with his humor but yeah it's, it's nothing short of an honor to have him in the series here enormous shout outs to him for dealing with not only my nervousness but also just even just hanging out with like a small series or a small channel like mine it's just super cool of him and i think the whole thing turned out pretty well although the uh, editing was certainly a lot harder than i thought it would be but yeah honestly like he's a great guy check out his content of course if you're not already familiar 
familiar with him somehow. Like, I can't vouch for that guy enough. I've been watching his content for years now. His editing is crazy good. Like, he is the epitome at this point of if you enjoy my content at all, you will adore his. Seriously, that like, there's no excuse. Check him out. Link in description, all that. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Just support the damn guy. Do whatever it takes. But yes, as usual, if you stuck around for this long, I appreciate you. Thank you for watching. Appreciate the support. Hopefully the uh, next part won't take as long to come out. Absolutely no promises, though. I am inconsistent at the best of times. As per usual, feel free to subscribe. It is purely for your own convenience. There's no pressure involved. And again, thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. Stay tuned. Have a lovely day, evening, afternoon, or morning, and I'll see you around. Bye-bye.